Hi all, this is Tejal Sulaki again and today on request of many friends, uh, you know, I'm sharing uh, how to make the naan out of uh, sabato, you know, using sabato. So the basic ingredients what I have taken, I have taken the mixed flour of whole wheat and all-purpose flour or uh, wheat. In a, uh, like you know Indians we call it as the maida so it is maida with the whole wheat flour uh, you can take the combination of 50 50 percent or you can take 100 percent whatever your choice okay uh, this is my fresh discard of sabato I'm going to use this uh, this is the you can say approximately like you know 50 grams of the curd I've taken uh, it's optional if you have to like you know you want to have some little mild tanginess then because I'm going to give a very slow fermentation to it so uh, I'm going to use it as a just you know uh, two tablespoon uh, the salt as per the taste I'm going to use the ghee as well you know to get the softness uh, that is this is one tablespoon but it's your choice uh, it's completely optional if you want to use you can use uh, oil also that's your choice okay and I'm going to use some seeds to give the nutritive value uh, this is approximately again one half tablespoon I guess and also like if you want you can put the garlic or the some other spices if you want or the for the flavoring whatever you wish to but these are the basic and I'm going to give the hydration of the milk okay uh, again you can use the water but there is not necessary to use the milk but milk gives some you know, softness to your dough so that's the reason I'm using the milk now I'm going to take almost say 300 grams uh, of the flour so I'm going to take approximately you can say you know uh, three cups and a uh, half uh, almost three and a half or four cups you can take like you know approximately I count 130 grams per cup so here Three and some more. Okay. Now I'm going to add the salt as per the test. So it, you can count two percent, so approximately one teaspoon or six grams then i'm going to add my sesame seeds so first i'm just mixing the dry ingredients if you want to have the sweet naan then you can yes definitely you can add some raw sugar or uh, you can say your coconut sugar or a palm sugar or some jaggery you can use that also or uh, maple syrup a natural sweetener whatever you want to I don't uh, prefer honey to be used because honey as per Ayurveda honey should not be heated so I don't use honey but uh, whatever your choice you can add the natural sweetener to make the sweetener you can say like you know one to two tablespoon uh, as per your choice the sweetener okay uh, but I am not going to use because my family does not like the sweet uh, taste in the naan so I'm not going to use this I'm adding the ghee going to add the uh, curd also as I said it is 2 tablespoons adding the discard one tablespoon 
it's quite active and non-sour it's very nice so I'm just adding the one tablespoon because already the curd also I'm using so I don't want more of the sourness into it so this is quite okay to go and now I'm going to add the milk milk you can say approximately firstly I will use two cups and I'm allowing to go the milk cream as well in it so and if needed I may take some more Uh, if the dough is firstly you know some sticky that's completely okay because it's uh, we do have the fresh later on overnight say like you know and if you have a cold temperature out there outside then you can keep it at outside also Mumbai is quite you know we do have the humid weather or you can say uh, like around 30 degrees Celsius and above so better I just mix the dough I keep it overnight or say like you know how many hours you want to ferment it you can continue in the fridge and before making your naan you can remove out you know say two hours prior and let it get if it has not got fermented in the fridge then you can let it ferment outside and yet you can make the dough of course I will share the procedure later on so this is the thing what I'm going to do I'm just mixing it nicely and yes remember to make a soft dough but it should not be a runny dough so always take a lesser hydration or the liquid whatever you are adding first and later on you can add if you want to some more but this is right now I find quite enough because the curd also I have added I have added already the discard and the key also is there so this is quite enough to have if you have the food processor you can use the food processor and uh, in the food processor you can mix it nicely as you make your regular dough or also you can use your stand mixer if you have then you can just mix it nicely on the speed of between 2 and 4 mixing it nicely and give a nice stir you know if you can then what happens because of the stirring your dough uh, you are actually giving the scope to incorporate the air in it so later on it will give that softness the to the you know your crumb also of your naan so that's completely okay to stir it nicely if you have because this bowl is some small so I'm not taking much of the risk of the uh, scurry, uh, stirring much otherwise you know it can splash out so see I'm mixing it nicely later on you can take the help of your hands also dough can be some sticky but that's completely okay Just mix it nicely. Till you get a nice and soft dough.
so almost the dough has been nicely you know see you can see it has been mixed nicely and it is a soft chapati type of dough what you say and uh, it is not too stiff and not too runny as well okay so now i am going to keep it for uh, say overnight minimum or maximum also can go for 24 hours or 36 hours of fermentation uh, so i am preheating my oven on for 10 minutes uh, on the both the rods are on and temperature you can set between 200 like 220 to 250 whichever you are comfortable and my rack i have positioned on the top rod you can see the top, uh, you know both the rods are getting heated and now okay so you can see the dough had been fermented and you know it's nice and i had removed you know two to three hours priorly from the fridge and you can see this fermentation the bubbles see here also so that is quite okay to make your naan and if you want to ferment some more you can do that as well no worries and just you have to remove nicely uh, you can use this spatula or something like that and i am just releasing the dough from the sides and i am going to uh, remove I don't want to disturb the fermentation, so I'm just doing it upside down, and you can see the dough is coming nicely. Okay, so let it you know give some time and let it come out completely. We don't want to disturb the fermentation, and very gently then we will divide the dough. I will show the you know both the ways how to bake on the tawa. as well as how to bake in the oven so whichever way you are comfortable you can do that uh, my family they love you know some crisp tawa so when i make in oven uh, it gives me some nice crispness so uh, usually i make in my oven but uh, also you can try with the tawa also if you do not have the oven you can try that also i will show you in some time and uh, again i will repeat whoever want to have the sweet naan please add one or two tablespoon of the raw sugar or the coconut sugar or whichever you want to and uh, i have not added the sugar because my family uh, they don't prefer sugar like you know the sweet thing so i have not used that okay so you can see the dough is nice smooth and you can see the fermentation as well so now i'm just going to divide the dough say approximately i can take you know 100 grams i'm not pulling the dough but i'm just dividing the dough right now i'm just making two naan just to show you okay and what you can do first just uh, roll it if you want to you can take some flour and just roll it okay just uh, not to get a uh, more of the stickiness and you can just keep them side same way i don't want to disturb the membrane so i'm just trying to tuck it first nicely and you can roll it okay just in the flour so they do not get stick that's it So these are done. So the dough has been nice and smooth. Okay, and what I'm doing, I'm just taking some sesame. I have just uh, pushed in the dish, and now either you can roll it also, or you can just expand with your hands nicely. 
if you find your dough is sticky then you can just oil your fingers or apply the ghee on your fingers and you can do with that also or you can just and extend it uh, whichever you know the shape you want to either if you want to make it round or if you want to make an oval and elongated shape that is also okay just take care that it should not be thin from the center so try to have it you know expand from the sides okay so the center should not get tear and you can expand from the sides okay see this now gently just give a nice stretch very gently okay and Once this is done, what you can do, you can sprinkle some fresh. Uh, I have the coriander and the cheese and some you know fresh garlic. I have chopped them, so you can just sprinkle them. If you want to stuff, uh, you can make the stuffed naan also. What you can do, just spread it nicely. Whatever the stuffing you want to put, you can put it in, and then again from the sides you can roll it. You know from all the sides. just roll it nicely and then again you gently you can you know give a suppose it like this is only so how you can do you can just okay and try to so whatever the stuffing you had done had gone inside and try to stretch it and if you cannot because if the stuffing is heavy then what you can do you can just roll it uh with the rolling pin so this is also one of the way you can do and whichever shape you want to you can either make a round or if you want to make that elongated i like elongated i like the oval shape so just You know, stretch it gently. Okay. Now keep your oven ready. I have already shared uh, the preheating. It can be between two twenty to two fifty degrees. And keep your uh, tray on the upper rack. And um, uh, the both the elements has to be on. The oven should be nicely heated for ten to fifteen minutes. so you know that gives a faster some and yes uh, if you want uh, you can apply some milk wash also on this to get a nice color otherwise just i'm going to apply the ghee and uh, okay very gently i don't want to tear my naan so i'm not giving any this is how you can shape it now i'm going to apply some ghee on it nicely so it will give a nice aroma as well and sprinkle again some coriander and the garlic and the cheese what i was having okay and some sesame seeds also and gently if you want to you can just tap it so you know they do not come out 
that's it now take a parchment paper or you can grease your tray and you can shift it for baking can you see this it depends on you how uh, big you want you can just stretch it and bake it okay i'm just taking a parchment paper and i'm shifting it okay and now i'm going to bake it at as i've said between 250 to uh, 220 to 250 degrees and uh, i'm going to keep it on the top rack and uh, once it gets nice pink and some red spots and i will remove it out okay so i'm just shifting it to the oven okay now how to make on the tawa same way i'm doing this you know i'm taking some flour and i'm going to shape it dough is very nice soft if you want to make a round you can make a round or as same way as i have shown you you know and try to have it it should not be very thin okay otherwise it won't pop nicely so this i am going to show you is how to make a round one try to expand from the sides and run it fast okay now what you can do just flip it uh, uh, here first yes you what you can do that uh, you can apply the key and same way you are going to sprinkle coriander and also the sesame seeds okay press it nicely so it should not come out when you roast it on tawa either what you can do you can just when you put uh, your naan on tawa that time also you can do this but i feel this is a easier way so i do this and just flip it now at the other side apply the water very nicely like you know uh, otherwise it won't stick on tawa we want the dough the side should get stick on tawa so when we will roast the naan on the flame so uh, it should not slide okay so this is how once the water you have applied now just feel the just feel the tawa like you know you should feel the hot the heat of the tawa once it has been heated nicely what you can do simply just spread okay and let it get you know i have done uh, the flame i have slow down and let it get you know once you will find you know some brownish color on the top as a well, little from the beneath you can find that sheen of the brown color so let it be and once you get that nice brown color from beneath you can see below the surface that time it's a time to flip over the flame and you can just roast it gently on the flame okay see it's nicely getting bubbles i have not used any baking soda 
and nothing this is purely the sabado uh, naan uh, and uh, it had got a uh, amazing fermentation so why to use unnecessary you know the baking soda where you are trying to establish the you know the, the acidity should remain of the dough for your gut so let it be and this is see they are puffing nicely you can see that the sides it may take you know 2 to 5 minutes and now you can find the color is getting changed you know the brown you can find that color on the surface also so it is getting cooked nicely so uh, let it get some brown nice color and then you can just hold the tawa and you can roast you can flip it okay let me show you how to do that see you can see this and try to very gently on the flame let it be if it comes out that's completely okay but you can see that you know it has been nicely done at the other side as well so let it get on the flame and get it roasted you can keep the flame you know medium to fast to get it roasted nicely Let it get, you know, uh, nicely some brown dots. The deoxidation of the starch, and it's quite saucy. How nice color and the roasting you can find that. So this has to be there. This is the portion some I find roast, so I'm just skipping it again. Take care while doing it. Okay. This is done. Your naan is ready. Okay. Either you can serve, or either if you want to apply, you know, keep it in a muslin cloth. You can do the similar way. So I'm just going to apply the little ghee again. or if you want you can use the white butter unsalted butter that taste yum with this or you can apply the simple your uh, regular butter also okay and your naan is ready uh let me show you the how the oven one also had been done I have not got yet, you know, the color what I wanted to. So I am just keeping it again uh, for another five to ten minutes, and to get the that's what the sour dough naan. You can see the softer version what I have made on tawa, and this is the crispy version what I had made in the oven. I had made it purposely crispy because my family loves that. But if you want to make it soft, then uh, you can just bake it at as I've said uh, between two two twenty to two fifty degrees. But uh, for a some lesser time, when you get just you know a light color around and some pink spots or the brown spots on your naan, and you are done. Okay, so this is the fabulous. the indian uh, cuisine the north indian the punjabi you can say and also this eggplant uh, vegetable we make it with the mashed eggplant with the lots of green onions lots of coriander ginger and the tomatoes and uh, it's like you know you uh, we do eat with the millets chapati also we call it as a rotla like you know made up of the pearl millet 
or the shorgam even that uh, you know gives a fantastic company with this so whichever way you want to you can just serve bye for now and just do not forget to give us the feedback